Hello. In this video, you will learn how to drive your own high voltage PMSM motors. It means permanent magnet synchronous motors or three phase brushless AC motors. In the first step, you will understand how to configure your own RX 23T kit in order to manage this high voltage motor. Basically, you will see that the power stage is quite easy to manage and the inverter kit is easy to plug and configure to drive your own motor. The second step is how to use the auto-tuning process, which is automatically embedded in the RX23T software. And you will understand that using the PC GUI, you can manage to extract the intrinsic motor parameter without using any expensive tools or any oscilloscope. Finally, you understand how to fine tune the algorithm to have in between your ends a ready to use prototype. But let's first have a look about the, the targeted permanent magnet motors we have in our end. This is a 200, 200 volt and 200 volt motor basically. The nominal speed is 4000 RPM. The maximum speed of this motor is rated to 16000 RPM, 16700, which is basically using field weakening uh, algorithm. And finally, the maximum power is about 800 Watt and the maximum current peak is 6 Ampere. We will see that we could manage to, to drive this at uh, 4 to 5 Ampere. Which step are we going to follow? Uh, first, we will prepare together the materials that you need. Second, we will set up together the RX23T embedded software. We will set up the hardware itself, I mean the MCU kit basically. We will set up the complete safety and the connection of the power stage, the rectifier and the MCU board. And finally, we will run together the auto calibration and fine tune uh, the PC GUI uh, software and the, the complete system. First, let's prepare the materials. Bring your own motor, get the motor control RX23 tickets, get the power stage, which is 1.5 kilowatt at 230 volt AC. Um, we need also a power supply, the 24 volt is good enough. Uh, a rectifier to rectify the mains and to uh, generate the 300 volt DC needed by the power stage. The E1 debugger is needed, of course, and fin finally, for in terms of hardware, we need also a transformer, an installation transformer to um, ensure the highest safety. And in terms of software, you need to have installed on your PC Z Square Studio and the motor control demo GUI that you can download of the Renesas website www.renesas.eu slash motor control. And you will also download the complete uh, embedded software running on the RX23T called Y Rotated RX23T underscore V1.zip. But let's start uh, by setting up the uh, RX23T embedded software. The first step is basically to connect the power supply to the board using the USB cable. So the board is basically powered with a USB. And after that, to connect the E1 debugger directly onto the board. and check the status of the LED. After that, you basically need to launch the eSquare Studio. We will import the software into eSquare Studio. I just stored it on the desktop. And I would like to ask you to open the source folder and open the customers.h file. Very important file. 
and uncomment the line 49 in order to enable and activate the use of the power stage. Now you can build a project, which take a, a few minutes, with the new configuration. It will enable you to connect an external power stage. And after that, you can run the debugger, debug configuration. If you go to the hardware one, the E1 debugger is already set up and the RX 23T also. You can check the LED on the debugger that they are blinking when you're downloading the program. The last step is to remove the E1 debugger. Let's configure together the hardware kit. There are a couple of jumper like the GP1 and GP2 that needs to be moved to the position 1, 2, 3 on the left hand side as shown on the video. The GP6 need to be set up on the first position and the GP10 to GP16 needs to be removed. Now the kit is ready uh, to manage the high voltage power stage. By removing the jumper, we will enable the connector to work correctly. So we first plug the power stage and the 24 volt power supply. We will plug directly the high voltage motor, only the three phase, fully sensorless. We can connect the PC through the fully isolated USB. And finally, we will connect the rectifier once the LED are working fine. Yeah. So the rectifier is directly connected to the power stage. Finally, the last step is to run the auto calibration and fine tune the high voltage motor. It will, done, it will be done in three steps. The first one is to run the intuitive PC GUI and to enter the known parameters like the speed, the maximum current. The second one will be to launch the automatic current PI tuning and to launch the motor identification process. And finally, to test the setup at different speeds and adapt the speed PI coefficients if it's required. So now we will launch the motor control demo. Uh, First, by setting up the communication, the serial communication, we use a small FTDI chip to uh, convert the serial link to USB. First, we launch the speed control window to check we have 300 volt, 320 volt. After that, we will uh, set up all the parameters of the applications, um, the minimum speed. We will set it up to 200, maximum speed 4000, acceleration ramp and deceleration ramps to 1000 RPM per second. Maximum current, we will uh, set it up to a high to 3 ampere and 5 ampere for the maximum current. And we will set the five parameter to zero, the five parameter that we will find automatically. We save it and we close. The first um, process is the auto-tuning for the KPKE of the uh, PI controller. We found two values and let's test it by applying a voltage step. I reduce a little bit the current we apply just to check we have a perfect response on this. So the value we found are perfect. So let's move on to the second step, the motor identification to find out RS, LS and FL. So stator resistance, synchronous inductance and flux permanent magnet. During this phase, the motor should be able to run 
yeah we found three values that you, we can accept and let's check in the parameter list everything is okay let's start by providing in the speed control small speed reference 250 rpm so we can see we have a, a small overshoot on the on the speed but the motor is running uh, at this stage it's a very good sign we have also in the oscilloscope window the possibility to check the uh, the phase and the current of the motor we can see it's not very stable so that's why we will uh, play a little bit with the kpk coefficient for the speed controller i will start by increasing it to 100 we can see that it's not that's not really stable at this stage uh, so i will keep on working on this where are we at the moment yeah 100 i will try with 150 and i will come back to 50 just to check if we have a better response yeah the, at least a better phase I will I will do such kind of manual tuning only for the KPK for the speed controller. We can see that the motor is still running fine. The phase seems to be better now. The current is very low because this is without any load. So now we can try to increase the speed 300 rpm for example. The next step is to increase the maximum speed so we will set it to 10,000 rpm just to test also if the flux weakening algorithm is working fine so we still have 320 volts I will start by giving 500 rpm and check how it's running 1000 rpm 2000 so the motor is running really fine and smoothly uh, yeah 6 So 6,000 RPM on this, 7,000, working okay, 8,000. We can see on this oscilloscope the current is, is really getting higher because there is some direct current which is added to the torque current. So in, in fact the, the total current is increasing over, over 1 ampere, something like this. 8,700 the flux weakening is, is really working fine at this stage and we can see that the, at 9,000 and 10,000 it's even higher Finally, a very nice feature um, in the PCU is that you can extract the parameter in the header file, which gives you the list of the, all the parameters that we, we tune and, uh, and got during the tuning and fine tuning processes. So all this, fi this file can be uh, imported into your project. Let's recap. With a minimum amount of materials, Within 15 minutes, you can run your high voltage brushless motor at low and high speed. The auto tuning system running on the RX23T enable you to drive your own brushless motor very quickly. So get your own kit on www.renaissanceshops.com and finally download all the material of the kit on renaissance.eu/motorcontrol. Thank you very much. Bye bye.